Welcome, ladies and right, uh, gentlemen. Fun. This is your host, Anthony Hawking. Mr. You're Hawking. You're not the host, I'm the host. Oh. Greetings, viewers at home. We're here today, July 4th, sunny Miami, Florida. Beautiful, isn't it? Let's take a, let's take a quick look around. Drove a straight 15 hours to get here. We're at the beach. Lots of beautiful white sands, crystal clear blue waters. We're lucky to have this entire beach to ourselves tonight because we have a very special guest here with us today, folks. Mr. Anthony Hawking, the third. Yes. He is a, no, shut up, a world-renowned record-breaking uh, skateboarder, philanthropist, entrepreneur. Uh, he cured cancer when he was 15. He's only 16 now. I'll let him take it from here. Uh, tell us a little about yourself, uh, Mr. Hawking. Well, let's see. I wasn't born, uh, I mean I was born, <laughs> I said that wrong. I was born not too long ago, a couple months, but here I am, successful man. Take a look around you. I made this. Happy life, happy people. What can I say? What inspired you to get into skateboarding? I honestly had, um, I had nothing better to do. After going through so much school so fast, you know, already becoming the first trillionaire in the world, I just kind of wanted to take it down and try something new. I heard uh, from a close friend of yours, perhaps uh, your second wife, <laughs> when you first tried skateboarding, the second day of your attempts, you were on a ramp, you went down, entered a coma. Yes. What was it like to be on the other side of the veil? I honestly didn't know what I was going to do. Mm. Then again, I was unconscious, so I, d I didn't do anything, period. It felt like a long nap. After being born not too long ago, I think it was like two months, it was around two months of me being born, I was put straight into a coma. I broke every single bone, but I was able to get it surgically replaced with um, this new material I developed. I don't know if you guys heard of it, but it's called steel. <laughs> I single-handedly created that element While you were in a <laughs> when I was in a coma, so I'm pretty much indestructible now. Uh, there's been a lot of controversy recently over your recent acquisition of SpaceX. You bought out Elon Musk. <laughs> Mr. Hawking here, Dr. Hawking, if I uh, remember correctly, you acquired Elon Musk. 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 I think this is one. Elon. <laughs> oh, God. Hello. Elon Musk himself Hello. is here. Yeah, so Anthony Hawking here acquired your company, I believe, for $3.2 billion. What do you have to say about that? Um. Get the, get the mic. Nothing really. You just might, you know, might say something stupid on Twitter so Tesla stock goes down. Good job, good job. What do you have to say to that? Easy money, easy gains. There you go. So you have an older brother, one older brother, Anthony Stark, I, I believe. How does it feel to be in your older brother's shadow? Constantly. Do you feel any sort of malice or uh, ill intent towards your older brother? Do you ever wish to perhaps murder him? Steal his fortune, his wife, his kids, his dog. Absolutely, absolutely. See, see, see. Quite jealous, to be quite honest. Uh, best man wins, and he's a better man, so I'm just being nice, I guess. But, um. That's, that's really profound. Yeah. Well, I can give you a tour. I'm the host now, oh, Anthony Hawking. <laughs> I purchased this huge piece of land. Single other person people inside. Go your land over there, dude. I I don't think I pay my security big enough. You know, people are bustling, people are happy. That's what matters. So you bought this uh, little piece of land called, uh, and some of some of the, our viewers might know this, uh, the United States of America. <laughs> I did buy America. Yes. <laughs> if that's what you're trying to say, yes, absolutely. Beautiful, as you can see. Now, a lot of you wonder, how'd you get a lake? Well, um. Yeah. Any last words for all the young viewers out there who wish to one day acquire your fortune, perhaps through murder, illicit means? I'd say don't give up. If you're happy doing what you want to do, go ahead and do it. If you have a dream, pursue it. You might fall off the path a couple times, but you know, you get back up. There's this one saying that I got from old pops. It was, um, if the plan doesn't work out, Oh wait, uh, that's not how it goes. <laughs> hold up, hold up. And that's all we have today <laughs> wait, for an exclusive interview with Mr. Anthony Hawk. Thank you so much to Mr. Hawk for showing us around his estate, the United States of America. Now.
Back to Mr. Bobby Flay at the station with the weather. All right, here we are in Anthony Hawk, Dr. Anthony Hawk's Cuban abode, 50 miles north of Guantanamo Bay, where he stores all of his exotic animals. He's handling one right now. What's this one's name? Um, Bibbit. Bibbit. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm cutting that out. Escapee. Behind me is a wild panther. Hey, boss, say something. <laughs> this is one of the one of the three existing members of its species and over here you can see the brazilian chameleon it's almost dead but it's wet so that's all that matters and then again is elon musk <laughs> say something hello elon musk is in the middle of having an aneurysm we're gonna have to call the ambulance in about three minutes you <laughs> see a boss the uh, black panther is back as you can see he's doing a uh, a pagan ritual <laughs> let, let, let's show uh his aquatic collection I don't know what any of these are. As you can see, this is the exact fish that was in fi uh, Finding Dory, not Finding Nemo. That fish died. I don't know what I don't know which one's which. I don't know how to differentiate them. <laughs> these they're actually very aggressive. Like if you put your hand in there, they would like headbutt you. Put your or, hand in there. I don't want to do it. Oh, they're coming! Down here we have uh, guppies, really fast, really small. I'm um, surprised they're, they're not eaten yet. This is the fresh water, and these are the salt water. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this one's too too aggressive. It doesn't get along with these ones. He has rabies. <laughs> yeah, they just don't like him, I guess. He's a convicted pedophile. <laughs> yeah. Are they trying to slap it with their butts? <laughs> oh. 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 It's it, it attacks, yeah. Mentally scarring. Okay. Hey, boss wants some. Oh. Nice. Uh, my science teacher, when his cat got a, what is it? What is it called when you get your balls chopped off? Neutered? Yeah, when he got neutered, he asked the vet to keep it and then he preserved it in a jar. <laughs> Passes around class. That'll be your wrap for uh, this uh, Cuban abode. Thank you so much, Dr. Anthony Hawking. Absolutely. My pleasure. Where can we find you if you want to visit your estate? Uh, miles north check north out north. my Instagram, just underscore Rayhan. That doesn't sound like a professional skateboarder's Instagram, but okay.